All right, realistically, how many tricks can you actually learn in seven days of learning to skateboard? I'm starting from ground zero. As you can tell. And boy, have I made some mistakes. Wait, did you fall off? No! I, did, I went like this, and then my ankle. I've now learned that that's called a shinner or an ankler, I guess. Anyway, believe it or not, in the past seven days, I actually made some big progress in my skating. Wow, who would have thought that I could do an ollie if I tried? Pretty big deal since this is what I had to work with. I'm too dead. It indeed was not looking good. So in case you're new here, I'm Hegler, Hellend, Helen Degenerate, Helen the c Yeah, just take your pick, really. I stepped on a skateboard for the first time last year, made a video, barely practiced for six months, made another video, fell over a lot, and the same thing happened again. And then I also made a video of me unboxing my skateboard, and that one had some real knee slappers in it, believe me, including my dog pissing on the floor. It doesn't get much better than that. Welcome! for learning how to skateboard in seven days. Okay, so if you're anything like me, I know that you've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube that's like, learning easy skate tricks in one day. Yeah, not with my coordination, mate. I'm gonna have to be more realistic. There is no fucking way I'm doing that in one day. Please and thank you, peace and love, but I'm not that good. So step one was research. I scoured the internet for the best tutorials and tips and tricks to help me build up a foundation of skills. Starting with something quite complicated, so if you guys aren't smart like me, it's okay. Number one is pushing. Okay, I think the main thing that I'm going to be working on at the moment is learning how to push. Because I still look like a beginner when I'm pushing and it's really, really embarrassing. I've actually been finding this quite difficult ever since I replaced my Amazon board with a Rowley Flipboard. By the way, a video coming on that very, very soon. Anyway, I was super wobbly and unstable after this change. So, what was wrong with my pushing technique? I realised that I wasn't putting all of my weight on the skateboard and every time that I was pushing it was like I was stepping off the board each time. So I moved my foot in closer to the board and got used to balancing on one leg. And then later on in the week I started practising reaching forward with my foot so I could put more force into pushing backwards. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop doing the stanky leg now. <laughs> So by the end of the week, my pushing ended up looking a lot more like this. So as you can see, I'm putting my leg a lot further forward because I'm better at balancing on one leg. So yay, pushing. Completed it, mate. All right, next was grinding. <laughs> uh, basically, this is what I've been practicing when you see me do a little shuffle on my little toes because it means that I don't entirely need to take my foot off the board and it won't go flying up in the air like this. Side note, another thing that I learned is get the right shoes. Um, I was skating with really bulky trainers. I think they were like some shit Reeboks. Um, or Reeboks? How do you say them? I don't know. Um, but now I've got Converses. Converse? Converses? Multiple Converse. And they're a lot flatter. They're a lot easier to do tricks, apparently. What I've really been focusing on is trying to pick up the board and put it down. The bare fucking minimum, ladies and gentlemen. I still can't do that. Um, but I'm trying my best. So I think that the way that you get on your board is a dead giveaway of whether you're a beginner skateboarder or not. And I didn't want that anymore, so I decided to work more on making sure that I could get moving on a board without falling over. So getting off to a good start, almost crashing into my pal Jack. Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> Jack's a beginner like me as well. Lol, loser. <laughs> go, Jack. Ah. It makes skateboarding a lot more fun. I would definitely recommend everyone gets a Jack. Ah. So as the days went by, I slowly got more confident that the board wasn't going to go flying out from underneath me. And I got faster, and faster, and faster, until I was finally able to get on whilst I was doing a little jog. So naturally, the next step is picking up the board. Okay, I really want to try and practice like balancing out which foot that I use. So I'm going to start trying to pick the board up with this foot. Okay, so I usually have my left foot at the front and then my right foot pushing because that's my strongest leg. But... I always pick up the board with my right leg and with my right hand because that's a lot easier because I'm right-handed. So it kind of doesn't really match up, so I want to learn how to pick up my board with my left leg so then I can just pick it up and keep it in my left hand. So basically I was practicing using both legs to pick up the board. This was a move that I did every five minutes, so I had a lot of time to practice. Like, a lot. 
until the big reveal. Day seven, I could put both of those moves together to get something that looks like this. There is honestly nothing better than the feeling of when you go fast, like immediately. So satisfying. Okay, can you guys let me know if that's normal to have like the wrong foot in front and like be the other leg strong? That makes no fucking sense. What am I on about? I mean, I'm right handed, but I put my left leg forward. Is that normal? Someone please just confirm that I'm normal, okay? Thank you. Okay, stepping it up. Some other miscellaneous tricks that I practiced were walking on my board, so nose and tail manuals, basically. I like to call this baby monster walking. This got much better by the end of the week, as you can see. I was working on my Tic Tacs. I practiced my manuals. Almost five seconds, woo! And my manuals whilst moving, but that didn't really end very well. But my overall balance did improve, so I could finally work up to doing 180 degree twists by the end of the week. I perfected my half board flip, always fun to do. But once I'd learned this, it meant I could do more flips. Which is at the end of the video. Alright. So I know you guys didn't click on this video just to watch me do basic shit again. In this video, my main goal was to learn how to ollie. So here's what I did. Day one looked something like this. I was too pussy to go on actual concrete, so I spent my time getting the movement down on grass. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. oh my god. Day two was more of the same stuff. I started to realize that you actually have to jump upwards first put your weight on your back leg and then pop the board. So day four, lots more practice and I was really starting to work on getting my foot in the right place and then it was just a case of launching myself upwards as far as I could and also actually trying to land on the board and eventually towards the end of day four I finally built up the courage to move over onto concrete. I just ended up jumping around like a leprechaun and almost got shafted by my board. The next day was no better. I went out at night, obviously to avoid people, and I decided I'd practice the movements of an ollie whilst I was sat down, but I was basically trying to even my board out in midair to make a nice straight line like this. But then came day six and everything changed. I started by working on shifting my weight on the board until I finally decided enough was enough. It was time for another attempt of a full ollie on concrete. In the past like few days, I've been practicing doing ollies like on grass, but I've not tried doing them on pavement. So we're just going to pretend this didn't happen, yeah? Because I know that I'm going to fall and eat shit, and I should probably be wearing hand guards. But sadly, I don't have them at the moment. I left them at home. So that's why I'm absolutely petrified to try it again. But hopefully it goes okay, so I'm going to go try an ollie. Oh my god, I didn't die. I didn't die. Doing it once actually gave me the confidence to keep going. So that's what I did for the next few hours. I just kept jumping. As you can see, I'm nervously praying to our Lord and Saviour, Jimmy Neutron, who we always pray to on this channel. And he heard me. But don't get it twisted, guys. There was a lot of times where he didn't hear me. Clearly, I was not praying hard enough here. I don't even know what that one was. I'm so done. Also, whilst I was here, I heard gunshots. Like, actual gunshots just going off. I really thought it was my time to say goodbye. Anyway, I survived day six. Woo, give it up for day seven. So to celebrate, I decided to try Ollie whilst I was moving. Not good, but hey, at least I tried it. Yeah, I barely got my front wheels off the ground, let alone the back wheels. So if anyone has any tips for that, please let me know. I don't know why my Ollie's just like go straight up. It's like a fucking rocket up into space, it's crazy. <laughs> Okay, so I was Googling on the internet why my ollies look like that. Um, and I realized that apparently you need to push down with your front foot. Um, apparently that's how you fix that problem. So I know what I need to do like in my brain, but I don't know how to actually do it in person. So if anyone has any advice on that, please feel free to let me know. Um, 
because I have no idea what I'm doing, basically. All right, it's time for the final stage, which is flips. Okay, today's the last day, and I've been saying this the whole week that I'm going to try and do different flips um, because I can do the half flip, but I haven't tried any other flips. So today is the day that I'm gonna try. Ah! Okay, so the first one is where you actually stand on the board, which is terrifying. Oh my God, I'm gonna be an extra couple of inches above the ground. <laughs> which doesn't seem that scary until you're trying to balance on the edge of a skateboard. So step number one was getting the board on its side. So I was practicing popping the board up and using my other foot to flip it over, which took a little bit of practice. But at the end of the day, I got it down like this. Once it was on its side, I had to stand right above the trucks. Yeah, apparently that's the most stable bit and I'm still falling over everywhere. Anyway, once I'd got comfy kind of just standing on the board, I attempted to flip it. And because I didn't fully commit, I just fell off. So the next time I told myself that I'm going to put all of my effort into flipping the board over and it landed. What the fuck? The learning curve for this one wasn't too steep. I managed to do it within a couple of goes, which I was very happy with. So it ended up looking something like this. Next up was scooping the board. So this should look something like this, but obviously without the hands involved. Good for helping you work up to doing a no comply impossible. So the trick was popping the board up just enough to get my foot round, but not too much, so it'd go flying in the other direction. Oh my god, this is so hard. I tried this trick many times, as you can see. Aside from the very painful fails, I did get better, but not gonna lie, this move didn't really get perfected within these seven days, because I mainly started practicing on day seven. But it did end up looking something like this. I'll take that, sure. Okay, next up is the half Casper flip. So the idea is that it should look something like this. However, I have very poor control over my board. I was basically just trying to flip the board over and get it to land on its wheels. And then another day, I'm sure I can learn to jump high enough to land on the board as well. But mainly I just wanted to get the moves down first and it took a lot of practice there was a lot of flipping it way too hard not hard enough i don't even know what that was but in the end i managed to get something that looked kind of like this so i think the final thing that i learned was to definitely give less of a shit <laughs> that was really awkward <laughs> I was too scared to be bad that I didn't even try an ollie on pavement and it ended up being nowhere near as scary as I had built it up in my head. If I had just tried them earlier, I think I would have been able to make a lot more progress, honestly. I really want to try some new flips, but um, I know that there's like a bunch of people watching me because I'm in student accommodation still and there's people everywhere. Um, I'm too scared of falling on my ass, honestly. That person who just walked past will never see that geezer again should not give a shit but i do this is actually what i do best which is overthinking the amount of time i spent psyching myself up to do a trick only to give up just before because i saw someone coming towards me Hiya. yeah this happened at least twice okay so i didn't end up getting all of the tricks down that i wanted to but that doesn't mean that i can save that for the next video so in terms of all the tricks that didn't end up happening, um, I'm going to be working on them and try and do them for the next video. So look forward to that. But yeah, I just kind of want to keep it realistic with you guys that it doesn't always go to plan because I'm still a beginner and not very good, so. <laughs> okay, so that finally concludes day seven of learning to skateboard. Um, I hope you learned something, but if you didn't, then apologies. Watch my other skating videos over here. That's on roller skating and skateboarding that I usually do. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any advice for me, as always, leave it down in the comments. People find it really, really useful. Um, people being me, 
because I also have no idea what I'm doing. So if you could let me know um, how to improve, I'd really very much appreciate that. So hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next video. Um, but in the meantime, follow me on Instagram as well. I never say that, but I post a lot of skateboarding stuff on my Instagram. So if you fancy checking that out, go ahead. Um, and I'll see you next time. Adios.